Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can tell a better story using Zoom and Morph and any of your slides. So let's jump straight into it. We're going to start off with a blank presentation. So you can go to File, New, right click, Layout and choose Blank. First of all, I'm going to quickly paste in some shapes for the background and some text. You can create your own by adding rectangles, then going to Format Shape and filling them with a gradient. The text is done with a white fill and then going to Format Shape, clicking on Text Options and then for the text outline, I've created a gradient line. I've also added a glow effect with a blue color, 30 point size and 70% transparency. Now you can paste in any slides you'd like to use and I'm going to use two that I've used in previous tutorials and if you'd like to know how to create these slides, I've added two links in the description below. So I'll quickly paste them in and the key here is when you right click to paste in your slides to choose Keep Source Formatting. So that will keep them exactly the same as they were in my original presentation. Now I've got those two slides added in, I can go to slide one, insert, and then choose zoom. I'm going to select slide zoom and click on the slide I want to add and click insert. I can make this a bit bigger by clicking on the corner circle and dragging. I can hold down shift and drag it into any position I want. Then I can go to the effect section, reflection, and from the preset, I'm going to choose this first one, tight reflection touching. And I'm also going to add a glow. For the glow, I'm going to choose a color with the eyedropper, just this blue from the text here. So I'm going to select the size and make it 20 and the transparency 80. I'm also going to select this to have no outline. So go to line in format slide zoom and choose no line. That looks good. Now when you click to advance the slide, it will zoom in and play the next slide. I think this is a great way to progress through your slides and make it not look like the standard PowerPoint. For the next slide, I'm going to add some text that says move on and then use a morph transition to slide across. So we'll click on slide one, press control D and then drag it down here. So it's after this slide. I'll use control and the mouse wheel to zoom out slightly. And I want to add a slide zoom of slide four. So I'm going to go insert, zoom, slide zoom, and select slide four and click insert. I'm now going to drag it on the top of this and use the corner handles to size it up so it's the same size. Then hold down shift to move it off to the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to give it the same reflection and the same glow as the previous slide we zoomed into. So I'll select this 20 point size, 80% transparency. I'm now going to change the text. I'm just going to type move on as an example here. Control D on the slide to duplicate it. Go to transitions, make sure morph is on. Then click on this, hold down shift and drag it to the left. And then click on this and hold down shift and drag that to the left. To get it in exactly the same place, we can go back to slide three and check the left position by going up in the format slide zoom section and checking the position here. And that's 15.84 from the top left corner. So we can quickly jump in here and make this the same, 15.84. Then it will be in exactly the same place. So now we can run from slide three. I'll click on slide three, press shift F5. When it says move on, it will move across. It's looking good. If we want the text to be above it, I can always right click on this text and choose bring to front. Right click on this text, bring to front. Now when I run this, the slide will slide underneath the text. And then when we advance, it will go straight into the design slide, full screen, and then we can add the summary. To do that, we can click on slide four, control D to duplicate, drag it underneath this one. I'm going to type summary, control D again, and this is going to be where we zoom back the slides. So I can click on the corner and drag it down and move it across if I wish. And then I can bring in this, again, holding down shift. Hold down shift as we drag the corner until it's the same height. Now when we run from slide 6, Shift F5, you can see it will say Summary and we'll zoom in. 
I also wanted to remove the white outline from the design zoom slide, so I can click on this, go to fill, select no line, and then do the same here. No line, and finally here, click on it, go to line in the format section, and choose no line. We can click on slide six and set the transition to none because when we go from slide five, to slide six, we don't want it to morph because otherwise that will fade off and fade back. So that looks good. Now, if we run it from the beginning, we've got a great way of telling your story in PowerPoint using morph and zoom. So here we'll explain the idea, zoom into the slide, present it animated, looks great. Once we're finished, we can click. We'll move on to the next one, which is this design one, which slides across in a really nice way. Click to zoom in. This slide plays, looks great. And click and we'll zoom back to show both the slides we've presented today. This can be a really nice way of helping engage your audience and telling a powerful visual story. If you'd like to download any of the source files from my recent tutorials, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you want to become a PowerPoint expert and make stunning slides, then watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.